Now We're live. Can now they can hear me. Hello, guys, and welcome back. We are going to play some Crapsy, and me and Alex are here. We're going to compare some strategies. Two strategies. Two strategies over here. There's the thing. Uh, the Come Better. And a new strategy I have called Wheezy. Wait for it. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, is it still on mute? It's not mute. Okay. And then I got to go. He told me I got to go to. I hit the Crapsy thing and then what? Now you can go to Crapsy. Oh. Okay. It's on a different window. It's on a different window. Got it. This one. Here we go. All right, buddy. All right. So they can still everything good? Yeah. All right. So we are going to start a King of the Hill series, at least for now. And today, my special guest star is Mr. Alex Kim. Thank okay. you, sir. I think you can hear him, right? Yeah, they can hear Alex? Right. Fantastic. So we're going to talk this out. All right, you ready? He is going to play Three Point Molly. So we're going to start with a good old favorite, and we're going to start knocking him down to show you Three Point Molly sucks. Okay, so, so where, but maybe, who knows, whoever wins legitimately in this uh, King of the Hill contest is going to move on to the next uh, contest, the strategy. And we're going to slowly start working him uh, through, and I'm going to explain, give you some context. So let me, let me, let me show you the wheezy. Is it best like two out of three? It, it's going to be just one. One dies. We'll, we'll do two out of three. We'll do two out of three. What do you think? Sure. We, we got plenty of time, and we'll try answering your questions as we go. Uh, a quick shout out. We're, we're playing this, of course, on Crapsy at Crapsy.com. And uh, it's a fantastic resource for those of you who are looking to, uh, to play. The, the big upgrade lately has been live tables. There's a lot of really good influencers that have their own live tables that you can join and, and play craps with and get feedback and talk to, and it's pretty fantastic. I mean, pretty big. Big AZ, I believe, has a table on, on this as well. There's quite a few people. Uh, Mid-Atlantic Craps is one. Uh, Texas Crap Shooters. Texas Crap Shooters is another. So that there's quite a few. So if you guys are looking to kind of connect with other, other you know, craps influencers, yeah, that word to me is so weird sometimes. I to think of myself as an influencer. Ooh. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. All right, ready? Let me explain to you the wheezy. And here's the thing. You got to watch it. Oh, you got to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you got to watch it to see how it works. It's a very interesting strategy. And, and here's the thing. I used to have a player. Uh, we called him wheezy. And he uh, he used a little oxygen. Let's just say, no, he didn't. He didn't actually have the oxygen thing, but he always sounded like he needed oxygen. So we called him Wheezy, and he played this system and never lost. I, I I know it's hard to imagine, but I don't remember him ever losing. Now we I had a, I had I had someone come to uh, Casino Quest about a week or two ago. And uh, we, uh, he, he played it. He never lost either. In fact, he, he started with just 300 bucks, got to a quarter game, the quarter version of it. So here's a good, we're going to roll it out. I think it's, Weezy's going live on Casino Quest soon, right? Yeah. It's one of the videos, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advanced thing. Now, just so you know, we are in Florida. We are at, we just finished up the APTA convention. We hosted a craps table there. It was absolutely fantastic for all the fans that, that met us at that table. Thank you so much. It's amazing. It's a public transportation convention. We had a lot of different people come up to us uh, and talk to us that were fans of the channel. One guy who was dad was a fan. Uh, it was just wonderful. It was a great convention. Thank you, Glenn, Rocky, and your whole team uh, at ORX. So we really, we really had a wonderful time. All right, let's get to the business of playing some crap. So here's how the Wheezy works. Uh, I'm going to start on the Don't Pass. So it's a, it's a $30 bet on the Don't Pass. It's that simple. This one you got to see uh, to believe. Okay, now I'm gonna actually roll, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get. Now I set the dice. Said you know it's using the RNG, and Alex is doing his two uh, three point molly. Yeah, ten dollar don't. I'm gonna just gonna do ten dollar pass line, and the okay. come bets are just max odds three four five. Okay, so here, all right. So did you already bet? Mm -hmm. Does it give me a little thing? Okay, oh, yeah. Let me hit the I'm ready. There we yeah. Go. So once he's ready, I'm able to roll. Okay, then I can hit stop bets and roll, say. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop bets and roll. A one of two is ready. I think that's me. Are you ready? Yeah, mine's already ready to go. Oh, really? It's, I think it's asking if I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I guess it's, okay, ready? Here, let's do this. Boom. All right, here we go. Dice around. Okay, so nine's a point. Now, here's what Weezy does. If a point is five, six, eight, or nine, 
he's gonna take a $30 lay against his don't pass, okay, to start. Okay, bear with me. He's also going to place $15 on the four and 10. All right, now what you're saying is this is a silly betting system and on the surface, you would almost be right, except for the fact that we have now played this system at least 10 times. In fact, me and Dennis played it, and you know how Dennis rolls, and he won twice. He won twice, right? He won twice. Uh, so there we go. All right. Ready? Okay, you in, sir? You got your mm -hmm. combat? Because I can't, I can't see you quite quite yet, unless I, unless I switch it over. I'm ready. You ready? All right, uh, he's ready. Alan Thor says, how is Florida? Florida's fantastic. They had a little storm. Dennis and uh, Alex spent, uh, spent some time with BJ Mom. Uh, we went to eat with uh, BJ Mom. And then uh, BJ for Blackjack, everybody. Blackjack is the answer. Yeah. And then uh, they went to Disney World today. They got stormed out for a minute, I think. Okay, here we go. We're going to roll now. Dice are out. Hands high. All right. Oh, there's a 10. Now watch this. So here's what's so fantastic. So what he does is the minute he hits a four or 10, okay, whatever the number that hits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lay down, okay? I no longer leave the lay and I take down the place bet that hit, okay? I take down, so the 10 hit, I take the place bet down. Now, now you see where I'm at? I have a $30 don't pass. I have a $15 on the four, but, but I have, uh, I can't lose. I, I, I literally, I, I can't lose. I'm in the winner's circle right now. You see what I'm saying? So once you hit, you take the place bet down that hit, and then you take the lay down, right? Uh, you know what I mean? And so I, I have that $3. I got that $27. I mean, I can lose $3 if we come back with a winner, but I'm poised to win because the odds are in my favor three to two. Now you're asking me, why do I take the lay down? Because again, I'm, I'm trying to put myself in a position where I'm either gonna break even or I have to win. Now, if the four should hit, I take that down and now I'm in the winner's circle. Now, it's interesting because you're gonna have to see how this works out. I'm playing the wheezy right, right? Okay, so we're just gonna keep rolling. By the way, for anyone curious, I'm sitting right next to him, so that's why I keep looking off to the side. Yeah, Dennis is right next to me. He's my local tech supporter and he's managing uh, some of the chats. Okay. So, so I'm just gonna keep rolling. I'm, I'm waiting for Alex. I'm ready. I, are you ready? All right, Alex is on the ready signal. Oh, I forgot the Alex is ready. Ah, seven out, how brilliant. Look at that, wow. So you see, my worst case scenario, and look at this, now I got 2042, isn't that fantastic? So uh, there it is, my rack gets bigger and bigger. Don't we always like a bigger rack? Is uh, everybody in on the bigger <clears throat> rack scene? I'm just saying, bigger rack is usually, not everybody wants a bigger rack. Some. Some of us are working the other ends. Yeah, you know, other ends of the game. There's other ends of the game. Uh, okay. Too big of a rack. Too big of a rack. Wow. Bite your tongue, sir. Okay, here we go. All right. So again, we're gonna come out. I and and you gotta watch this system in play. You really do. It, it's interesting how money moves on a crap table. That's what's so great about coming and, and to casino quiz is just sort of seeing the bets. Now there's gonna be someone out there, maybe at Pro Craps, who's gonna try and break this down. I would love to see John, because John can be all negative Nancy and try to deconstruct stuff. Uh, and I promise you, this one is going to throw you for a loop. Because it is so, so the four in 10 pays the best, right? We know that, so it pays nine to five. Even with a $15 bet, you're gonna get $27, right? Uh, and, 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 and so it's a, it's a little bit counterintuitive because typically when you come out on a four in 10, you would want to lay, but you have to bet two to win one, and that's what puts people at risk on the don't. The, the, best, the best lays on a crap table are on the inside, you know what I mean? God, there's so much innuendo. So, so you like to lay the inside, sir? Is the inside, does that work for you? I like... Or do you do the like outside the, lays? I just like the inside, period. The inside not. lays? Yeah. yeah, you're not the guy in the forest. All right. Uh, okay, so here's we go. We're going to come out again. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. How's your comebacks looking? Uh, not good. Well, for some reason, my odds got taken down. I think I somehow took it down, but I'm, I'm, do I'm That's back okay. on a $10 pass. That's line. okay. See, even someone who doesn't know how to play can't survive again okay so so you're like oh david there's a hole in your system listen there's a hole in every system there's always a hole thank god for that huh it's mm -hmm. good to have holes sir all right here we go uh that's okay we're gonna we're gonna stay listen we have a bankroll my rack is is, is plenty and we're just gonna keep rolling okay now because uh how are you doing buddy did you win on that one uh, that was, that was a, winner. a winner so yeah all right so now i'm on a 10 and now you people are thinking when i say you people i mean you people now here's the thing, I'm not gonna take a lay. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm just going to do a $15 uh, place bet. Now I'm not doing the buys because a lot of places, you know, you can't buy, you have to buy at $20 increments. So, so we're just going to go with your typical table. Uh, and now, now here's the thing. So let's look at this. Ready? If I should get a 10, okay, I'm going to lose a 30, but get 27. So, so I could right now I can lose three, $3. Okay. If I get to 10, right, my four will still be in place. So I technically won't use that. But if I get a seven out at this point, like right now, I'm going to lose the four and the 10 and I'd win the $30 of break even. So, so yes, you're correct. It's a bit of a grinder strategy, uh, but that's okay. Let's just watch it play itself out. Okay. You have your bets in, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh my God. You, you would think that I was literally now look, now look, 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 look what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this down and you want to listen. If I get paid on that, why not leave it? Well, because by taking it down, and by taking your profit immediately, you're going to make up for some of these coming out sevens. You see what I'm saying? So as much as it, it seems counterintuitive, uh, but it, but it works out great. Now watch this. All right. So let's so so now I'm in a position where I got that 27, and I took down my $15 bet. Right. So so I have to win now. You follow? If it's seven out, I'm going to lose the 15, but win 30. I'm going to win another $15. Right. If I get a 10, I'm going to lose a 30, get 27. I'm only going to lose. Uh, uh, you know, th this three dollars. I'm only going to be out three dollars on this exchange, but I've still collected on my four. Use your cursor, not not your hand. Which one? Use my cursor. Oh, oh, I, I they can see the cursor. Oh my God, you guys can see the cursor. I, I didn't know you could see the cursor. I was literally, because I'm thinking I'm a crap dealer and I'm pointing out. Okay, because it's getting in the way. But you guys following me? That's why you have to see this one play out a little bit. All right, so we're still in the point of ten. Uh, and uh, yeah, seven out. And now th there are people out there going, well, sir, why don't you just take the 10 down, the place bet down? Why? Uh, because I can only, you know what I mean? I'm only going to lose $3. Might mm -hmm. as well leave it there. There's no reason to take it down. I'm putting myself, I already have a don't pass. Now, yes, I'm favored to win on the don't pass, but that's, that's where you get into the negative Nancy categories where you're always assuming that you can't roll a 10. But we all know a lot of 10s. A lot of tens. Any of you out there that do super badass lays? We used to have a, we have a friend of ours, Santos. He he just gets whacked year after year doing no tens and no fours to pay his for the rest of his bets, and he's convinced one of these days it's gonna work out. It never works out. All right. Now, once we reset, regardless of every time the puck goes off, same thing. Thirty dollar don't pass. Boom. I'm gonna roll the dice. Okay. Watch this. How you doing over there, buddy? I'm losing. I'm, I'm assuming that you're you're done, that you're on top, because because Alex is usually quick to the draw, dude. Yeah, not doing so hot. And and on craps too, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not doing so hot. Not All right, so but hot. But you are taking the odds, three point Molly. Okay. Because yep. what what we're gonna do is once we get ahead of this and Wheezy, we're now gonna test it. We're gonna test some other strategy. We, you you put it up against whatever the hell you want. Yep. All right, now watch this. Remember, now we're gonna place the 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 four and ten. Now look. I'm going to do reverse odds. So anytime it's in this in, in the inside numbers, and here's great, here's the greatest thing. If you always lay what they call lay or reverse odds, this $30 against your don't pass, it's always right. Because a $30 lay against a six and eight is going to pay 25 and a $30 lay against a five and nine is going to pay 20. So it, it, it's perfect. Now you got 30 and 30. And again, what we're looking for is now if it's a winner, yes, that's going to be a little rough, but that's okay. We're going to work through it. Uh, at brush three, it says Alex Kim ruined my life. Yeah, well, that's true. I ruined my own life. Yeah, I know. His parent hit would just do the picture of his parents wearing that shirt is so fantastic, dude. I gotta get my mother a shirt. Uh, oh my god, do you see what's going on there? So, again, once I get paid on a four at 10, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take down, I got paid on a four, and then I'm gonna take my lay down. You see what's happened here? Do you see what's happened? I have literally. I can only profit. It's profit town. Here we come. Okay. And then you're saying, again, you're saying, well, why don't I leave the layup? Because now I, I, I want to put myself into a profitable scenario. I get it. Odds are not a six. Oh, oh my God. You see, you see what's going on here? Now I take this 10 down. Is, it, is this the easiest money you've ever seen? You know what's interesting? We had someone come by Casino Quest and they wanted to you know, learn something other, but he, he really wanted to do something on the don'ts. And fifteen twenty-five dollar table. I'm going to show you the twenty. We're going to go up. So, 
We're going to go up to the $25 table. But as soon as he saw this and he couldn't lose, he literally did not lose. Uh, he, he's like, well, this is this is the end. You know what I mean? He was supposed to call us and let us know how it worked out. But uh, all right. So here we are. Now we're, 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 we can't lose. You see what I'm saying? We literally can't lose. My rack runneth over. You see, bankroll is 21 away with my don't. My rack is at 20. In the rack, I have 27. Eight. That's what's so great about crabs because it shows you. This is what I have in my rack. If I throw this 30 bucks, because that's on the table, that's my total bankroll right now. But you see that? I'm in profit town. How are you doing over there? What's, what's, uh, haven't hit anything. Oh my God. Let's see. What does he got? Wow. Uh, yeah, because I can go, oh, dude, it's Alex. See what you got. Oh, that's a negative, uh, progression there, buddy. Yep. You're going down, down, down. You haven't hit anything? That's nope. too bad. That is unfortunate, dude. Is anybody, is anybody seeing this genius that's going, okay, so I, I, I got a six. Who cares? I'm still winning. You know what I mean? And again, it's a little bit of a grinder system. So we reset. I'm still shooting. All right, well, how you doing, buddy? Do you, you hit that? That's the point. I hit the point. My so, odds are off, though. Now you're winning. Oh, I see. I see. All right, yeah. so now your odds are off. Okay, we're coming out. Dice are out. So you're only going with three points, right? Oh, wow, that's free money, dude. That is, and then a couple of those come, and that's just like, wow. Did you get? Did you lose that one? Yeah, I you're lost doing my ten dollars. Ten dollars. All right, you're back on a pass line, sir. Yep. All right, you're staying yeah. on top of it. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, my five hours. God. No, John, John's going to test this one. You're going to be Says, so amazed. I'll break down this negative Nancy style next <laughs> week, David. Right? Uh, maybe I'll do it. Hater. Hater. Do it this uh, versus that during the Me and you got to play. Next month. You're, yeah, crash of the... Dude, you will not believe. We have yet to have a person tell us that they lost using this system, quite, quite honestly. Uh, and it's, it's something else. So this guy... So I when I worked at this, this one casino, the boss would come over and said, hey... As soon as you can get Wheezy done, you can close the game. And, and he'd be our only player. And we're like, holy crap. You, you couldn't get this guy off the table. And, and he would only have a couple hundred bucks, but it was enough to like be like, hold, I mean, it was just, you couldn't get him off the game. Uh, VA Crap Shooter here is another $5. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Never been impressed with David's rack. Listen here, buddy. <laughs> I, I'm not wearing enough Lululemon, dude. That's, uh, but that's not less the rack and more the uh, nipples. The be uh, the nipples. You went straight. For I was gonna do the beamers, huh? Yep. Me and Alex have quite the beam, high beams. All right, now watch this. Here we go. Four and ten. Uh, Fifteen dollars. Now look at that. And now we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna do the reverse lay. So again, thirty bucks. Okay. Here we go. You ready, buddy? Yep, I'm ready. Right. I'm. I'm. Uh, Cause I for some reason I'm just not. I can't see. That's the nine. We don't care about the nine. All right, so you're moving on to the nine. Oh, look at you, buddy. I'm what? still, and I have four and ten, so nothing's happening. Oh, you yet. already have the four and ten. Oh, yeah, that I'm might still not waiting go for well. It to oh, hit. Well, maybe you get some winners here. Oh, there you go with a four, dude. Look at that. How fantastic. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get paid on the four. Now watch this. Now I'm gonna take this place bet down. I'm gonna take my lay down. I don't, I don't need to risk it. Now look, look, look at me, buddy. Look at that. I'm profit town. I cannot. Yep. I have to profit. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, I know. Wait, wait, do, wait for the $25 version because a lot of you are like, yes, but I have a 25 This is a great way to play a $25 table with just three or $400. Wait for it. All right, so uh, we're going to play that next. All right, here we go. And uh, Okay, you good, buddy? I'm good. All right, let me know if I need to wait up for you. Okay. Nope, you're good. I don't want to run you over. God forbid. Up, oh, that I lost the eight. Who cares? See, my rack runneth over, dude. 2020. All right. But, but same thing, okay? I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, and I'm coming out again. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Bam. Oh my, oh yeah, I was supposed to be on on the 10, damn it. I forgot. Yeah, we'll just leave it, screw it. I, I'm, I'm gonna start over. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot we was supposed to be on on the 10. Yikes. All right, well anyways, so here we go. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Uh, I think here. there's like a trigger. I'm missing something, Chuck, huh? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll get there. All right. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? By the way, they have a crap. Uh, they have a uh, crapless ETG now. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood. Crapless ETG. Yeah, that's crapless craps. Yeah, that's the next level, dude. All right. Uh, and it has ATS go. on it. And it has ATS. Wow. All right. Well, so we still have 27. My rack is still ahead. Still pushing out. Looking good. What, what's your rack? What's your rack out, buddy? Not much. Really? You were getting yeah. waxered? Yikes. Yeah. Three-point Molly is literally, let's just say, 
uh, that we put that one to bed I think a long time ago but that, but people will see it so that's fine you know what I mean we'll let them know what they're missing uh, oh my god are you kidding me did you have a four no my four came down already yep wow all right well here, here give me one see second. now look 15 you see what I'm saying you see what we got going on here John see John's already working it in his brain but but once you play this it's gonna surprise you dude <laughs> I I, whenever, whenever a dealer used to see Wheezy come up to the table, the, the first five minutes is just nothing but question marks. Like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, why aren't you laying when you're out on the four and ten? It just doesn't make sense. But the whole game doesn't make sense sometimes. And here you are, choppy table. You don't know what to do. This is, this is something to do on a Wednesday. Uh, I mean, I'm in, I could be in like three or four cocktails by now. I'm not losing anything. Look, look, look at this. You know what I mean? I don't have to call the wife and kids, you know, to let them know I might not be able to make it home. You know? I can leave the ATM cards at home. I might not have to. I, the only thing is, is, is you, you might not uh, have that last 20 for Kino, dude. You might not have to go to Kino. You might actually keep winning on dice. Some of you are like, well, it's not a lot of action, but that's okay. We're, we're, I'm going to take you to the, literally the next level. Oh, give me one second, Dave, because you're throwing the dice and I'm not, I can't set up my bets. Oh, really? No, that's what I mean. So let me know. I, I don't know. It, it keeps saying one of two is ready. I don't even know if that's like, you know what I mean? Maybe, yeah, maybe I have go. to pee, but no poop. You know what I'm saying? What? I mean, I'm just putting it out there, dude. I don't know. It says one of two is ready. I don't know what one they're talking about. I'm okay. assuming I'm always ready. Are you good? My bet's accepted, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I know there's a setting where you can make it wait and reinforce. Uh, oh, seven out. There's Perfect. my money. Another winner. How'd you, how'd it work out for you, sir? Not good. It didn't work out so I, well. I went a little bit. I'm just Did you get that last combat, though? Was that a winner yeah, for you? I got my 10 bucks, though. Wow. Good for you, buddy. All right. Why don't you shoot? Can I pass the dice to you? No, because I don't have that ability because you're controlling it. I'm, I'm the controller. That makes sense. All right. Well, there's only one shooter. There's only one shooter. All right. Yeah. Get on that pass line. I, I'm ready. You ready? All right. He's ready. Here we go. We're going to play this out one more time. Uh, my goal is the $200. I just get the 10% of them. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. Wow. What a start. How did, how did it go for you, buddy? How was that? Look at that. One more win. and uh, All right. You're in? Yep. Yeah, because we're gonna. I'm going to go to the next level, and you're going to have to pick a new system because we already know... The combat strategy is, is, you know, I think we put that to bed. Two point, three point. We don't, we don't want to touch Molly anymore. We want to leave Molly the hell alone, okay? Okay, I'm ready. The new Molly, the old Molly, all the Mollies. All right, ready? There it is, four and ten. It's, it's the easiest system. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can learn this system like yesterday. Your kids know this system. Yeah. They're like, they're like that. Ah, oh, perfect. Broke even. Zero loss. Just sitting here, cocktails on the way. Perfect. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I lost 30 bucks. Oh, well, that's not bad, huh? Huh? Yeah. All right, we'll get your bet down, buddy. You got it? Okay. You ready? Are we doing one more three-point molly? Or yeah, we I got to get to 200. Oh, I got bankrolls 200, dude. I'm in. I'm out. I'm out. Let's let's move. Yeah. All right, let's let's move. Wait, I got 2207. You see what I'm saying? That's a good day. Uh, Seven dollars. Dirty Lurker says, I'll huh. go full tilt on the field. Full I tub mean, on the field. Oh, that, no, he wants me to. He yeah, really I know. Oh, let's try that real quick. Now, yeah. what I'm going to do is I got this 2200 right? So I, I'm plus 10%. I'm going to move on to the $25 table version of this game. Now, what the $25 version is, it's basically, listen, I'm going to put $50 here on the don't pass. It's a little easier, by the way. Okay. okay, now watch this. Are you ready? All right, I'm coming out. All right, you're going to play. What are you going to do? The field? Uh, okay, we're gonna do what, something no, different. No, no, you you choose. Alex, Alex is gonna choose whatever system. I'm hopefully I'm gonna wipe out all of his systems. Wait, wait, we do we need to reset? We do we we need to reset the bankroll, no? Not necessarily. How do we do that? We're gonna that means we gotta start over again. Like oh, we don't want to do that. Yeah. How do, no, we can do like a rebuy. No, no, that's fine. We'll see who we could. How much money you got? You might have to rebuy though. I got two grand. It's fine. You got two grand? Yeah. Oh, did you rebuy? No, because I'm good. So we're good. You're good. All yeah. right. Well, did I win or did I not win? Those no, you won. I won. Okay, <laughs> legitimately, I, I don't want to like cheat the system, dude. I don't want. I don't want to give John any ammo for later. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he'll, he's, you know, that's yeah. he's he'll deconstruct it, dude. I saw chat by the way. It's my allergies. I'm Maybe ready for you, sir. Yep. Okay. okay, you ready, buddy? Yep. I'm gonna do one ten inside. Collect three times. Press and collect the same repeat. Oh, uh, perfect. All right, good. Next strategy. What are you gonna call it? What's the name of the strategy? <laughs> P -p collect three times and then press. Sure. Just perfect. like conservative ass conservative like, $25 table yeah. yeah $25 table missionary now. inside uh, missionary, missionary inside, inside. 
Wow. That's the name of the strategy. A Mormon's go-to gambling system. Yeah. Yeah. Once after he picks a good wife. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't cancel it. Well, good wives. That's right. <laughs> Dennis said good wives. All right. So here's what happens. you got to lay uh, the reverse odds on this one. has got to be 60 bucks. So, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. We're doing $25 table. Wow. <whistles> up, up, up. Let's do the buy. Okay. All right. So we're doing $25 buys. I got 50 on the don't pass. I got $60 lay. Okay. So sixty dollar lay works for all the numbers, all, all the inside numbers, right? Yep. Uh, on the five and nine, I'm gonna get paid forty. On the six and eight, this is gonna pay fifty. Okay, so fifty. All right, here we go. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. You got your odds in. Twenty five dollar yep. table, right? Button. Yep. All right, here we go. Dice are out. Hands high. Oh my God! Do you see what's going on here? You see? Now watch this. You see? Watch this. Now, you guys, I I am not. I'm using the RNG. I'm using the RNG. <laughs> it's almost too good to be true. Uh, and, and look, I take down my lay because look what happens here. Now, some people are going to say, well, why don't you take down your four? Don't take down your four. Watch this, everybody. You wait, wait for it. Here's what you do. You take one quarter off your don't pass because you can reduce or remove your don't pass. And now look where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to win. You see, I'm either going to break even or if the four hits, I'm going to be plus money. Now, now the other way is to leave that uh, $25 and to really just go for the seven, right? And then I'll be up 25. But if I get a winner six, I can lose $25. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So by taking 25 off the don't pass, I put myself in a situation where I can only break even or win. Okay, only break even or win. If I left that quarter there, I would be in, in, well, well, let me put it back. I would be in a position where I can actually lose a quarter, net lose a quarter, because it can come winner six, and then I would be out 50, and then I still have this four here. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So, so here's where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Pull a quarter. I can only win. Hey, how about that, John? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, it's, it's now you see why Weezy would just sit around. Oh my God. It's wow, almost too good to be what true. What a hit, sir. <laughs> what a, it's like it's rigged. And yeah, once I hit it, I just come down. And now, you see what I'm saying? Yep. You see what I got going on here? Right. Now, now here's, here's the other thing. Now, our. Real quick. We got a $100 super chat. Thank you so much to Dirty Lurker. Use this for a crapless table or for a good cause. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Spinello. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Now, now, here's an interesting caveat to this. Because I already have a don't pass and the quarter, I could just leave it. I got paid, right? Because now I'm now in the, if, if it comes up six, I'm going to lose the, the don't pass, obviously. Okay. But what I could do now is I could put a quarter on the six. You see? I could put a quarter on the six and just hedge it completely. So that way, watch this. I can't lose. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So I put myself in another situation on this table. I can't lose. I'm out. I want all my money because that's going to pay me 29. Or I'm going to break even or lose, right? Yep. If a winner six comes up, I'm going to be up $4 or I'll be up. But here's the thing. Wheezy never did that. This was the system because you need to really make up for some of those winner seven. So we're hopefully going to get, you know, the seven out. Now, if the seven out comes right now, I would say it's kind of rigged, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Go. Whew. Phil says, could you do the five and nine instead of the one ten? Uh, I mean, no, because so you need that nine to five payoff to compensate, or the two to one with the big. The pro the five and nine don't pay enough, right? So so on a fifteen dollar bet, for example, you're only gonna get twenty one, whereas uh, on a fifty dollar four, you're gonna get twenty seven. Even on a twenty five dollar bet on the five and nine, you're only gonna get thirty five, whereas a twenty five dollar buy on the four and ten, you're gonna get forty nine. So, so the, the important distinction is you need those little extra wins to make up for, again, the, the point sevens and the winners that you experience on the table. But let's assume, for example, that the, the table starts getting hot. Well, e either way, if the table gets hot, you get enough four and tens. The, the only real downside of this uh, system is if someone shoots for an hour, assuming that they're just, you know, they're not rolling their point and coming out and they're just rolling... Uh, you know, inside the numbers, you lose that opportunity to make a lot of money, clearly, right? So, so this is a table, this is a great system for three types of, uh, of people. A, someone who really can't afford and, and can't flex into, a, let's say, a higher limit table, a $25 table, $15 table. They just don't have the bankroll for it. So for this system, you can buy it for three, 400 
the 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 other thing this this works for is it's a, a you know a cold uh, I would say a cold table. So if it's a lot of sevens, you want to kind of sit out, grind the game. This is a great this is a great type of a system just to chill out. And then of course a choppy table where you're experiencing kind of ins and outs, and and you're not you're not able to get ahead with whatever system you're working. And this again will help you kind of buy the time uh, without a whole lot of risk. But okay. Auxiliary crushers. Yeah. Uh, Real question, David. Yeah. Where is the opportunity in playing both sides? So, so that's it. I mean, there's less opportunity, clearly. I mean, you, so you follow. So, but this this system, he's extracting as much opportunity as possible given the parameters. So it's it's not a Dewey don't system at its core. I mean, you're not betting the don't pass on the pass line. You're not hedging the don't come with a place bet. You're literally focusing on only the four and ten to, to maximize your paybacks. And then you're creating the lay, assuming you're in a better position, right? Because the lay pays better on the four, four uh, the five, six, eight, and nine. So the logic is a little different. It, it's it's a very strange because most people, when they approach craps, they look at it in a very direct way, right? You're either trying to create opportunity, like what we talk we talk about finding the role. You're not going to find the role with this system, right? We, me and me and Dennis, we have a video coming out of this. There is a way to move and, and recreate. So once you find yourself in a position where the shooter starts shooting numbers, you can kind of move your position. So you use this system to put you in the money to invest in opportunity of the role, right? Um, but, but, but you're right, this is not that type of system. All right, here we go, ready? Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, well, let's see if we can uh, uh, get Alex some money. Now, if I was placing the sixth, now I'm super grindy. Now I'm literally taking out, I'm hedging it to the point where there's just not a lot of win. And then the winner sevens and the point winners will take away from my opportunity on top of it. I'm not doing that. Uh, and then, you know, of course I came down on the 10, but you have to come down to the 10 because again, um, you know, you're, you're, you're looking at these short rolls, right? See like this, this is a roll that, that, that Alex can make up some money on. How's it working out for you, buddy? I'm good. I'm talking to Chuck right now. Are you winning? Are you winning back some money? I'm talking to Chuck, uh, trying to work this out here real quick. Oh, really? Yeah. Are, are you winning anything, though? Not much. Not I did much. hit the two eights, though, yeah. You did have the two eights? Yes, oh, sir. Oh, another 10. See, because if I'd have left the place bets up, uh, you know what I mean? I'd have that money and, and out, and, and I would. So so that's where, where, where me and Dennis, me and Dennis are playing with this idea of, you know, once the bets pay for themselves, you just leave them and then create opportunity with your bets. So, so if you have the same shooter and you're able to get out, and, and, and increase your bankroll for that shooter, then you can just leave those bets. And then you, cause like at this point, I've had a couple tens and fours, I would have been able to, you know, create some new opportunity and really take advantage of the shooter. So I think, I think that's the lean. The lean is really, you know, find this sweet spot of, okay, I've, I've, I'm over the hump. Now we're past the Rocky or the cold shooter. This person stands a chance of actually rolling some numbers and I don't want to miss out, which I'm, I am missing out. Uh, I mean, this is quite the role, you know what I mean? Okay, oh, wow, just tremendous. Absolutely, absolutely tremendous. So, so yeah, it's a bit of a grinder. Uh, there it is, all right, so getting paid, nice. All right, um, all right, so we're, we're gonna come out again. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to 50. Oh, but are you in the game? Are you playing the system? I am. All right, all right, here we go. Are you ready? Tell me when you're in. Here, let me just set up, I'm off. I'm doing right. 110 inside again. Yeah. So how'd it work out for you? Did you win? A little bit, but not much. Oh, wow. I thought you would have destroyed it with all those numbers, huh? Huh? Yeah. All right, because we're going to go up again, and we're going to show you, because I'm, I'm going to use the same bankroll. I'm going to go to a $100 table, dude. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, okay, you ready? Yep, go ahead. Yeah. All right, we're coming out. Hands high. Okay, we're out to five. All right. So again, we're going to do 25 on the four and 10. Boom, boom, and then we're going to do uh, we're going to do a sixty dollar lay. That's it, just like that. All right, uh, let's get a roll. All right, let's see let's see if we can sort of tweak this a little bit to create some opportunity. Uh, no. Phil, says, yeah. How many rolls do you need from the shooter to change the strategy from this to something else? Ballpark. Yeah. So like I my feeling is this. I, I won't count the rolls. I will count my own opportunity. I want every roll to justify its own return. 
So I, you know, I know as far as like, you know, getting it down to a, any kind of specific metric, I don't think that's the return for me personally. So let's say this, if I hit this four and 10 and I could take down my lay, reduce my don't pass bet, now I've got some extra money to play with, right? And now one way I can go is to kind of, you know, return some bets to create opportunity. And again, I might want to stay with the four and 10 because they pay so well. I can build out and create place bets. Uh, but, you know, it, it's going to vary. I mean, in some cases, I might hit a four right back and a 10 and within four and five rolls, I have the money and the opportunity I need to to change uh, to change the bets. But 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 then this becomes a different strategy. I'm then I'm using this strategy to to pay and get into house money to create a new strategy. Right. Uh, so and, and that's really the key. I mean, I my, my philosophy as a, as a player is always to let each shooter justify its own opportunity. Right. So in, instead of me, you know, making an investment and seeing a shooter as, let's say, you know, either this amount of money or, or however many roles I'm looking for to justify a good shooter, you know, like like I, I'm sure many of you, there are some people I do not invest in. Uh, if I find that they just can't shoot the dice, so they're not paying attention, or they don't seem very, very well engaged, I, I don't risk it. I, I tend to just let them shoot, and too often they become the good role, and now I've lost out, right? Uh, so I think if I just stay with this one logic of if, if I can make money uh, from the shooter early on, I will use that money to, to create the opportunity for myself. All right, how you doing, buddy? Good. You doing good over there? Yep. All right. Uh, and there's the seven. And look at me. Ah, covered. You see what I'm saying? One. So I covered both bets and I'm plus 40. Did you see how easy that was? You see how fat this is? So once this bankroll gets to 2400, I'm going to go to the $100 version. All right, what do you got, buddy? Are you, got, are you on the same system? Uh, yeah, I'm still going back to 110 inside. How's so it I working hit, out for I you? I hit one number and seven out, so I lost uh, $75. All right, are you in? Okay, so you're waiting for the 110, so I'm just yep. shooting. I'm just shooting for the, uh, for the moon here. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so now here's a great thing about coming out on a 4 and 10. And, and, and again, this is going to be so counterintuitive because here I have this 4. There's only three ways to the 4. There's six ways of seven. Two to one odds are in my favor that I'm going to roll a seven before a four. So you would think everybody goes and maxes out these lays, and that's what gets a lot of people in trouble that bet the don'ts, because now you got to bet two to win half, right? And so the catch-up for that is not, not the Mayo and catch-up, but just to kind of, you know, we talk about roulette. How many rolls do you need to win to get back? Well, you need too many. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the four. I'm going to buy the ten. Now, what's my position? So if the four hits, you say, I'm gonna basically, mm -hmm. I'm gonna lose 50. I'm gonna get $49, it'll be at a dollar. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take the 25 and I'll have a $10 investment. All right, you got your 110 up, sir? I have my 110 up, Now sir. the seven out comes, I'm gonna break even. All right, he's got his 110 ready and raring to go. Yo, 11. That's, uh, yeah, no one cares. Only Cybet Sam cares. He made a killing. He's parlayed. Yep. He's looking for another horn, and let's see if he's done it. Ten. Ah, oh, you see what I'm saying? This is almost too easy. So once I collect, and this is what's great about the quarter game. All right, so I collected my 49. I'm going to take this down and watch it. You ready? Yep. I'm going to take down the don't pass to one quarter. I can only break even or win. And I got 24.19. I could take down everything right now, and I'll be on to the next level. But we'll, we'll play this out. Alex is still in the roll. You ready, buddy? I'm ready. All right, here he goes. Let's see what we got. REG. Yeah. Says, Best roller coaster in Orlando is a Velocity Coaster or Universal. Uh, I've been. I have the I have the mug and the keychain, and the head wound to prove it. Yeah, that was the one. That was the gentleman I had dinner with last night. Oh yeah, the Velocity Coaster. Uh, oh really? So so. Uh, unfortunately for me, that one roller coaster put me out of uh, service. And uh, it, it was very exciting. I, I did think uh, I was a little more terrified than I thought. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately for, for Dennis, I, I missed out on a few rides. Oh, oh my God, what, what, what's going on here? Are you saying that I profited? <laughs> nice <hit>. A winner? <laughs> uh, it's too good, it's too good, yeah. Says, why not uh, switch to John's Hedgeless Horseman once the place gets resolved? Okay, because I, I, don't know, I don't know what that one is. Can he explain? Because I, I don't know all of John's, uh, as much as I like trolling John's channel every now and then, 
I like, listen, if you guys ever want a good craps rant early in the morning, is that early in the morning for John? It's his coffee. It's fantastic, but but I'm not paying attention to the words. I just love the excitement that comes out of his face. It's fantastic. But uh, what, what is the Hedzel's Horseman? What's that one? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah let us know in the chat. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Are you ready for this? I'm going to go to the $100 version. This could go quick, by the way, because, you know. Uh, but let's see how this works out. So so the, uh, my, the guy that came into Casino Quest the other day, he went from the 2550 right to the 100. Uh, all right, you ready, buddy? You got your 110? You still yep. playing the same? You still I'm stuck? Off. Yeah, I'm coming out. We're good. All right, you're coming out? Okay, let's see how this works out. This could go, this could go, oh my God. Just, you would think I was like, you know what I mean? Hey, Chuck, fantastic RNG, buddy. I, I don't know what people are talking about. <laughs> I guess if you're on the other side of the game, it could get a little screwy. Oh, David's plus 543. You're at zero? You have 2,000 exactly? You've won zero dollars? Yeah. Yep. Wow, that's like, what are the odds, dude? Yikes. See what I'm saying? Wheezy would hang around all. Okay, so there we go. Listen, there was like, see that? Karma. Karma. Don't laugh at those uh, place betters. All right. Uh, here we go. We're coming out again. Wow, that's a that's a horn bet all day. Okay. All right. So so on a hundred bucks, we're gonna go uh, fifty dollars, fifty dollars here, fifty dollars here, and we're gonna go one hundred. And you, you could do one fifty, but we'll we'll do the one twenty, right? Uh, sixty. Yeah, sixty. Yeah, sixty. One twenty. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because you'll win a uh, hundred or eighty. Uh, 80 on the 5 and 9. You win 100 flat on the 6 and 8. All right, let's see what we got. You ready, buddy? Yep, we're ready. All right, here we go. You got your 110. Yep, only collected Points one nine. so far. You've only collected what? Only collected one so far, the 6. You're still at 0? It shows you at 0. Is well, that per roll or total? Well, te technically my bankroll is 2,000. I oh, have really? Yeah, that's why I'm I'm literally not up or down. I have 110 okay, so, inside Okay, so this is, this is for all the marbles, yep. basically, right? Okay, well, oh, that's that's a lot of marbles. Yikes. P got, uh, P got smoke. Says, yeah. nice catch you live. Been binge watching you guys. Salute. All right, good. Salut. Salut. Yeah, fantastic. You see that? How to go? How to go? For, it still says you're at zero. I don't understand. How's that possible? Yeah, I. Well, you're still at two thousand exactly. I'm still at two thousand. Wow! So. Holy smokes. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, we're coming out. We're gonna play this out because it could go. It could go south of me really quickly. A few sevens, right? That's the thing. That, oh, God, free money, dude. Free money. It's all this stuff. It's killing it. Yikes. Okay, right, we're, we're just going to keep second. playing. We're going to see how high we get this. What's going to be interesting is is I think I think uh, John, Pro Craps John, I think he's going to spend weeks trying to beat up this system. And he just, you know what I mean? It, it's going to be something else. It's the wheezy. I mean, it's the wheezy, man. The, this guy, he by the way, he cannot be alive today. I, I'm pretty sure he's, I mean... He had, a, he had, a, had some breathing issues. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. All right, here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Maybe, uh, he be maybe he's just be wheezing. Yeah. You, you ever have somebody who, and, and, and if, you, if you're on oxygen tank, I apologize, but you know where, where their breathing is tough? And then you take a deep breath just to compensate. Like, <sighs> you feel like you're, yeah. you know what I mean? He is kind of like that guy. Uh, he was, by the way, he was the nicest guy. A lot of dealers didn't like dealing to him much because he didn't tip, and this system sucks to deal. Oh, are you kidding me with the seven out? How you doing over there? Oh, God. Yeah, I lost one Alex time. is uh, getting whacked. Are you ki You know, I might have to go up. I might have to scale this. Yeah, I'm just getting whacked right now. I know. You want to try a new system, buddy? Um, you want to try something else? A little, little something, something? Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do squeeze play. Squeeze play, okay. You know what's interesting is everyone always asks me, okay, so is there any system I've seen where, where someone has never lost? And, and to be honest with you, there's only a few, a few different players that I ran into intermittently. One of them is, and I've showed you guys where you lay $30 behind the 5689, it's a $120 investment, uh, right? And uh, the, the win is 84 bucks. Well, it's 90 minus the big, so $84. But you can only lose $30 a number. And you know the problem is you come out of a number, then you move them forward to a place bet, and then it's a seven out. So there's a bit of a takeaway there. But for the most part, it's fairly successful in at least giving you a quick return and, and putting yourself into an opportunity position. But but that guy would, would 
I, I, I think he lost. I mean, there were days I'm sure uh, that he lost. And then the 600 lay guy, uh, I never saw him lose, but but that's not a lot of people are into betting $1,200 every roll of the dice either. You know what I mean? Um, okay, ready? Pony says, tell David to buy the four and ten. Oh, well, yeah, so, so it's auto buy. I'll put, did I put it on the wrong one? I, I think so, yeah. Uh, we're assuming an auto buy. <laughs> so uh, no, no <coughs> buttons. Oh, ten hardware. This is fantastic. You love when it comes out on the ten because now, here I go. Oh, oh, you know what? I think I did. You're right. Good, good. Thank you. Yeah, on the buys, I gotta remember to put it here. Now, I don't take a lay because the lays on the four and ten suck. You gotta lay too much money to win too little money, and over time, it'll grind you out because you can't catch up. But here we go. So now I'm in a do we don't position a little bit because again, it's a four and ten. Ten pays well. This is gonna pay a hundred for two dollars. So, so I'm risking two dollars right now. Uh, and here we go. You ready, buddy? Yep, I'm you're, ready. You're doing squeeze play. Yep. All right, at 100. You know, I'm doing 110 on. inside squeeze play. 110 inside squeeze play. Okay, we're putting it up against squeeze play. Okay, so I got a five. All right, I got to give uh, get him, give Alex a second to make his bets. Let me know when you're ready, buddy. Oh, shit, hold on. I got to do a buy. He's uh, manipulating the buttons. He's firing it up. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? All right, we're ready. Okay, here we go. Uh, is John still out there? Because uh, is anybody out there? Ah, uh, it's eight hard, buddy. Look at you out. That's the nice thing about squeeze play. Or a hard way eight parlay. Okay, I'm ready. You, you're ready, buddy. Yep. All right. Two hits. I'm down to sixty-four across. Yeah. Oh, sixty-four across. Mm -hmm. wow, this is a twenty-five dollar table. I mean. Oh. All right, next time, next time. We'll let you, we'll let it go. We'll, we're going to case bet you. You're going to grandfather you on the $10 okay. game. Reserve game. Look at you, buddy. And look, look, you're eliminating your, uh, you're only negative 26 compared to my plus 723. Yes. You see how big and attractive that number is, dude? I'm going to, I'm going to go home with a date. You look very it's sexy. It's not as big as my forehead, but it's, uh, my date is not going to come cheap, dude. That's all the fixings. 700 bucks in Vegas. Well, that doesn't get you a whole lot, dude. You're going to have to compromise a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You might not get all the legs at once. Just be might be. Ah, look at that, buddy. Who cares? I broke even. Yep. You know what I'm saying? How'd you do? Uh, only down 26 bucks. Okay, so now with 25 dollar table, so you got to do 220. Okay. You got to do 220, 220 inside, squeeze yep. play. Now he's got to bring out the cash. All right, me, I'm up 723. Just hanging out. Got that big rack working. I'm hold on one second. Uh, in fact, my go. rack might be actually. I might have to use the two racks, the one in front of it. You know what I mean? The one behind it, one in front of it. I have what they call a girthy rack at this point. Are right, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, I'm on the don't pass. I haven't rolled a lot of winner seven, strangely enough. Look at that. I mean, I don't. I don't even remember a winner seven. I think eleven. I think I got whacked on one. But anyways, all right. So here we go. We're gonna do two buys. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna let we're gonna let uh, Alex just punish himself over and over and over again. How <laughs> we're gonna see? What's great is like I, I can't wait to see what John's uh, feedback is. John, you're gonna have to let me know when you run that one, or literally any any of the uh, Mid Atlantic, any of you guys. If you run some type of comparison, I'd love to watch it. I want to see you guys just just beat this one to to unholy, unmerciful. You know what I mean? Uh, Christopher Burke Trucking says can't get her upstairs for seven hundred. Oh, that's true. That's true. You got to start downstairs. <laughs> you might want to have to roll that one in, dude. You got to get sliders. <laughs> Imagine that. Yikes. Uh, okay, Christopher Bird. Well, if I have if I have Christopher Bird's uh, his money, I wouldn't need to win anything, dude. I'm already a winner. Life has already paid me in advance. All right, listen to this. Eighty and a hundred. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on now. Now, oh, oh are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, see, the thing is, we all know that is literally, and, and everybody out there is like, yep, anybody that plays craps, that's a point, that's a, that's a PSO, PSO, PSO. We can sing a song. Look at me. I'm, am I winning more money? No way. <laughs> yeah, good luck, good luck. <laughs> that's amazing. I got to tell you, man, the Wheezy guy, dude, he would sit there all day. I, I swear to God. I never saw him lose. I, I did see him, like, you know, maybe not leave with the same money, but he would close out a table. Like, he would stay there for eight hours. I mean, eight hours, same position. He was, like, this short guy, little stocky, big head type of thing, you know. And uh, he would just be there. And, uh, you know, I didn't mind him because when we were dead, 
He kept things going. All right, you ready, buddy? Yep, I'm All ready. Right. All right, here we go. We're coming out. Uh, oh, God, do you love the fours and tens? See, now we love fours and tens. We just love the fours and tens. And uh, here we go. Bye-bye. All right, well, we'll we'll give Alex... Uh, oof, I'm ready. You're, are you sure you're ready? Yep. Look, 50-50. Yeah, I'm in a good position. I'm in the right position. I'm, 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 I'm literally on both ends. I'm working both ends. <laughs> That's always the best position if you can do it by yourself. Isn't that right, sir? Yep. Don't we always want to, huh? That it's, uh, it's two out of four David viewer, uh, viewers are here in New York. Uh, two out of four viewers are in New York? <laughs> Thank God. Uh, Red War says, Alex Kim gave me PTSD. Now, yep. Alex Kim gives everybody PTSD. Well, That's true. are you male or female? <laughs> so, <laughs> I just, we need more background, dude. We need background. All right, ready? How you doing, buddy? You got your number up? Yeah, first hit. So I did first quarter hit. each four and ten. Fantastic. All right. Here we go. We got that second number. It's coming. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Ouch. shit. Ouch. David's, like, so excited, dude. David's so excited. I'm I'm slowly working that, that rack. All right, look at that. Uh, are you ready, sir? You got to get your money out there? Uh, I can just roll, right? Because you're good. Yeah, I'm doing coming 220 out. inside working. All right, ready? Well, we'll see what neg when you get to negative a thousand, then we'll we'll oh god another ten isn't that fantastic? We yeah. love those tens. See now we're not we're not afraid of the dice. We're just not afraid of the dice. Fours and tens, we're happy. You know what I mean? Point seven out, happy. All right, you're in. People are asking no odds when the point is four to ten. So that's just it. Yeah. So you, for those of you joining now, you kind of have to scroll back, but but that's the genius of this system because we're we're not extending ourselves. We're we're placing the number that pay the best and not laying the odds on the numbers that pay the worst, right? So we're sort of mitigating. It, it's the weirdest thing how this works out. And until you play it and try it, you almost won't believe it. Okay, ready, buddy? Yep, ready. All right, let's see what you got. Bam. Oh, it's a 12. See, see. The only one that wins money is Cybed Sam, dude. He is like, just, just, we need one more 12, and he's just rolling in it. Yeah. Oh, it's a look at that. Look at that. That would have been a good one. He had a parlayed that and now he's collected. Yep. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Those numbers don't work for you. No one you don't care at all. There's a five. Yeah, Alex has stuff to do. Look at you recovering like that. Yes, oh. sir. This could be a win for you, buddy. This could go well. Okay, I'm ready. You ready? All right. You ready? Are you ready? Uh here we go. Ooh, another 11. Jesus. Cybet Sam is on it, dude. This is that Hornbeck guy. We watched the guy roll, went 13000 off the off $100 playing nothing but Hornbets for 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. All right, there's a six. Is that put you in the, that puts you out, right? Yep. For the, you got go almost all your money out. All down. Wow. That's fantastic, across. dude. That's, that's fantastic. See? See? Now, yeah. if only I could roll like 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 Big A Z or you know what I mean, like uh, like Mel. There's uh, another six. Scotty Slot gave us nine dollars and ninety nine. Oh, fantastic! Says David, looking swole. Looking swole. <laughs> you I mean, does anybody know where I can get my players' points to get a cod dinner? Listen here, buddy. I, I you have to check for the cod. Uh, you know what's amazing? We're, we're here in Florida. There's a lot of cod. Cod's everywhere, dude. Is apparently. We, we did. We ate at, uh, where did we eat? We ate at uh, Gordon Ramsay, and uh, they had some cod. We, and we enjoyed some cod. We didn't even have to go to England, dude. They, they finally have cod here now. Oh, yeah. We thought they were running out, but uh, they're, they're, there's, you can't get it free, though, sir. You've got to have to pay. The cod's going to cost you, dude. They've got to go out and fish that stuff deep. Do you hear now? You can't fish for the same fish anymore. They got to come up with different fish. Well, in Florida, they're trying to kill lionfish. So they're, they're trying to kill you... lionfish. Yeah, it's a it's a invasive species. Oh, it's an invasive. So you can eat those, huh? So yeah, you can kill as many you as you want. You can kill all the lionfish you want. Yep. Perfect. I mean, I'm I'm not a fishy kind of. Yeah, I'm no way a ten. Are you saying I lost two dollars? Oh my god, how terrible of me. Now here's the thing. So 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 these are off. But if you're gonna come down and reset, you would really, you know, want a dome pass. So, so here's what we're gonna do. Well, 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 let's just do this. Let's let's play it organically. Let's just come back with our hundred, okay? Let's just leave it. We're gonna come out. We're gonna leave this off. We're gonna pretend like it's a new thing, like which it is. And uh, here we go. We're gonna play this out. Let's see. Bam, nine. What do we care? Okay, so 
on the five, six, eight, and nine on these numbers, we're now going to take a lay. Okay, so we're going to add, and we're going to do this. We're basically going to do the same thing. We're going to we're going to lay one twenty regardless if it's a five, six, eight, or nine. If it's a seven out, uh, and on, it's, if it's a five and nine, you're going to win eighty for this lay. If it's a six and eight, you win a hundred for this lay. All right. Yep. Okay. You ready, buddy? I'm ready. Are you winning? Are you uh, rolling in no. it? No. I got 330 on the layout. Wow. Wow, really? Good for you, buddy. All right, here we go. We're going to roll. So you do not want the PSO at this one. Oh, it's a winner nine. See, Good. that's going to be a setback right there. That's going to that's gonna suck a little ass, but that's okay. We're going we're gonna to work this out. I'm still up 581, so I haven't lost all of my uh, attractiveness yet. I'm ready. Are you ready, buddy? Yep. All right. I talked a lot of smack, so God forbid these dice go south on me. I'm going to be really upset, dude. Really upset. Okay. Here we go on the six. And we, we, again, we're, we're just sticking with the program. We're sticking with the program. All right. Who's biting their nails? Who's biting their nails? Anybody but me? Uh, no. Christopher Bird Trucking. Uh, it was $5. <laughs> yeah. Because three, people uh. get 3K views just from trying to understand it. Really? I know, dude. I swear to God, people are going to follow this because it, I don't think they're, I don't think you should understand it. I think it's the universe. I think it's literally, it's the curve of dice. Um, uh, now, Matthew says, oh no, one out of the four watching now. My wife just fell asleep. Oh God. See this? This is a sleeping aid. This is ASMR for all the wives, dude. This will put them right to bed, dude. You turn this craps on and it puts them right to bed. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Ooh, on, it's a second. sleep aid. How you doing, buddy? You pressing? Yeah, give me one. You making money? Jesus. What's gonna What's gonna really What's gonna suck is if we both make money. That's gonna be rough. How How am I gonna explain that? Here we're ready. You're ready, buddy. All right. <clears throat> You're hanging in there for dear life. What's funny is like, ah, oh, there There it is. You see what I'm saying? There it is. See the ever present. Ouch. You follow? How that's you doing? But ooh, down four seventy five. That's yeah. gotta hurt, dude. No, I'd be down more than that. That's gotta hurt. That's not even rent anymore. That used to be rent. That that's not even rent. That's yeah. you flushing your toilet reliably. You know what I mean? That's yep. all that is. Four seventy five, dude. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right, you got your money? Yeah. Yeah, but wait till after the point. All right, you wait till after the point. Yeah. All right. Yikes! Here's an eight. All right, get your money out there, buddy. Get your money out there. And that's the other thing too, right? How many times have we seen where? You know, the table just doesn't heat up. Although, I, I have been part of a table that's heated up for an entire day. A $500 game that went hot for eight hours. It was, it was quite stunning. So it does happen. I'm sure, I'm sure people have been on a, like a relatively hot table where people get a few rolls. And, and it, it's for, it seems fairly reliable right up until it just goes absolutely frigid. Arctic chill, dude. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, we're going to let her rip, dude. All right, so where are you at? You're negative 475. Another 220 inside. Oh, you got 220. Okay, so now you're adding the 4 and 10. You're doing straight up squeeze play? Yep. Dennis's favorite or, the, or some other variation? Okay. Let me know when you're in play. Ready. Ready. Okay. Oh, there you go. He's out. He's out. I'm almost depressed when he gets out, but that's okay. That's okay. See, squeeze play is pretty strong. It's, it's hard to knock out someone on squeeze play, by the way. It's not... Your table's got to be really cold. So there's that. All right. And this is exactly why we play this. Crafty lets us work all this stuff out for ourselves. Are you ready, buddy? I'm ready. All right. Here we go. So now we need some numbers. We're not getting any fours and tens anymore, which kind of sucks. Oh, that's oh, terrible. Shit. That's just terrible. We hate those. Don't we hate those? Look at me. Back in play. How you doing, buddy? Oh, uh, not good. You doing over there? Ooh, 495. Damn. Yikes. That's like an electricity bill. That's like, you know, 15 days of electricity right there, dude. Yikes. Ain't that something? That's not even a week's worth of food for the average household anymore. Isn't that amazing? I, I could eat for like three months on 500 bucks. Maybe not like anymore. six months. Huh? Not anymore. It's like $3 a week, dude, if you really get the bar S bologna. Are right, you ready? Yep. Are you in play? Okay. Well, like, and you remember, I, I started with, I, I, I don't think I've ever been below my 2,000. All right, so there we go. All right, let me not get too excited too quickly because God forbid. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, yeah, you you don't care right now. You're not working your bets. No, huh? I'm off. Oh, uh, you're off. Okay. All right. So let's see how this works out. Up oh, there's an eight. Okay. And again, why do we lay the eight? We lay the eight because there's still more ways of getting any other number and the seven. You see, you shouldn't be afraid to lay the eight. Uh, eight needs love too, by the way. 
You know what I'm saying? They say that, by the way. They say that. Poor eight doesn't get a whole lot of love. All right, tell me when you're ready, buddy. Ready? You ready? All right. Uh, we're letting them rip. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's there. You go. That's one. One number. Now, squeeze play is tough. If you're up against the squeeze play system, that's that's tough. There's a few of them. Squeeze play is is somewhat similar. It's not not really. I mean, split the sisters uh, that Hawaii crap shooters is made popular is also strong. You're only, but you're only halfway. So you're splitting up the rules halfway, halfway. Right, uh, whereas squeeze play after the second, you're basically out minus a small investment. So it, it, it's you know they're they're similar in some ways. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, you're in. You're good. All right, well I, I'm rolling the dice. It's not, oh, see, this is what we love. So we get the four and ten. Now watch. We're gonna take the lay down, and we're gonna take the buy down. That's it. We're just gonna sit here. See, okay. we're gonna sit here now. Are ready? you ready? Yeah. Now what we could do is, well, we're just gonna leave it. We got the don't pass. Okay, ready? Yep, Bam. I got a $75 four. You have a $75 four? So you really just want fours. Ooh. That's okay. But again, you know, I didn't really lose a whole lot, right? Cause I already hit the thing and I got, thankfully I got off my lay. That was good timing for me. All right, we're coming out all over again. All right, we're gonna leave that uh, don't there. All right, okay. tell me, you ready, buddy? Yep, two hits and down, so I'm going to 160 across. Okay, you're down to the 160. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. Looking good, sir. Oh, oh, smack. Should have had that 10. All right, well, we're on the 10. So here's what I'm going to do. You ready? Yep. Uh, I'm going to... There's a couple ways to play. We're going to pretend that we, 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 we started this out. Now, normally, he would just drop to 50. We just let it sit. But seven out, we break even. Uh, if it does the 10 rolls, I'm going to lose $2. You see what I mean? Then I got my four. So I, I could reset. I could pretend I'm still in the other roll. But anyway, so you ready? Yep. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's get a four. Ah, oh, two crafts, dude. Cybet Sam is all over it. All over the high-low. You ready? Yep. All right. All right, let's see what you got. And, oh, oh my God. Another high-low parlay, dude. That's the parlay of the day. I have seen five twelves in a row. That's the record. I don't know how many aces, but five twelves and 11. Okay, five twelves. 7 11s and 11 7s in a row is the most I've seen in 33 years, by the way. If you're asking, and you probably weren't, but there you go. Uh, but 5 12s, yeah, 7 11s and 11. Oh my God, it's wow. a nonstop horn bet, dude. Side bet Sam made all of his money in one hand. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Boom. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. See what I'm saying? So I could have left the four out. You follow, and I could have started and just. But anyways, it's fine. Uh, I still broke even. I'm up six seventy nine. I got uh, my bankroll, my rack. How you doing? Uh, I'm down pretty much five hundred. Almost five hundred. All right. You want to play one more new system? Sure. All right. What, what do you want to do? You want to? Because I can literally go up again. That's what's great. Um, I'll do a double tap. You'll do double tap at what level? Uh, twenty five. You want to do a fifty dollar table though? Sure. How about do a fifty dollar table, dude? What kind of but what kind of money you got? You down to your last uh, fifteen hundred dollars? Nah. Really, you got more than fifteen hundred? How much you got? I got a fifteen hundred. You got oh, that's what I'm saying. So you could do you could afford a fifty dollar table and, yeah. on fifteen hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna do a fifty dollar table. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a hundred. I'm gonna keep this going. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Good luck, sir. Good luck, sir. Okay, he's gonna go with double tap, which is, it's very similar to sisters. Uh. For those of you out there who've been playing that one, but uh, oh god, you ready? Yep. All right, yeah. See, this, the thing that really sucks about this system is too many sevens in a row on a come out roll. It can be rough, but but again, that's why we're we're taking this lay. All right, and now we're gonna go watch this. Boom, boom. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. I was I was trying to see if I can knock you out. Okay, you, are you done, sir? I'm ready. You're ready? Okay, good. You have two hundred and twenty dollars on the inside. That's on correct. On the interior, fantastic. Oh, look at that. You see what I'm saying? See those? And those are the ones that just make us look so brilliant, dude. That we are just looking incredibly intelligent. Uh, you see? Done. What do you got? All right, ready? Yep. All right. I'm but neutral. That, that four didn't work out for you too well. You're on the inside. Or you're at the. Oh. I'm on the inside. Okay, there you go. You're working that inside action, dude. That's okay. We understand. I start from the top down, dude. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I work the action progressively. All right, here we're going to go. You ready? Watch yep. this. Watch this. 
We, we'd love a 10, really. Oh, seven. So who cares? Wow. See? Not a big deal. Yikes. Poor Alex, dude. Down 400 hours on us. All right, well, look at me, dude. Just building. Just building. John's out there pulling out. No, he's, I was going to say, John, I was going to say you're pulling out your hair, but uh, <laughs> that's a misnomer. <laughs> uh, let's just say, you know, he's, uh, he's just, he, he's, you're going to need some coffee for this one, dude. It's going to be a long rant. Uh, okay, you ready? Yep. You ready, buddy? I, I think I think many of you out there, you're you're you're, you're going to be constantly trying to figure out how and why this works, and in the end, uh, you're just not going to care. It's just going to be one of those things you just you just you just let go and let God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why does your car work? You know, just like it does because it does. You know, unless you're like Dennis and you you figured out you know all the tubes and clicks and switches and everything else. The rest of us just we just hope it turns on and you know what I mean. We don't have to push. If we have to push, then we got to figure shit out. But all right, you ready? I'm ready. You got your you got your money up there, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got. Bam. Ah, oh, that doesn't matter. Don't you don't you hate when those see our crap was craps. Those are no longer those are those aren't wasted rolls, and that's why people that's why the theoretical win is so high because. Oh. Everybody goes crazy and starts betting everything so they don't miss a roll. And now they're on the extreme and, you know, you're effectively out dead. How'd that work out for you, buddy? Oh, great. Right? Uh, I'm down 700. 600. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's amazing. All right, we're going to play this out one more time. Okay. Oh, my, my laptop is about to, this, this computer is about to literally croak. Hold on a sec. All right, then we're going to have a little chat uh, with everybody. How's it going with the, uh, the chat? How's the chat going? Good? chatting awesome. yeah i see snapper in there snapper hey is it, we're on easter we're on the same time as snapper is this oh this isn't too late for snapper he's still up dude he's getting himself some jam he's getting in there he's getting some crumpets hey buddy how you doing man i got plenty of your shirts left don't worry about it. i got we've got uh we, we we got tennessee orange yep yeah uh all right ready here it is Fifty dollars. So has everybody figured this out? It's the easiest system. I mean, there's not a lot to there's not a lot to it. The only one is, is is moving it and converting it. You know, but we'll do that another week. Uh oh five. How you doing, buddy? You got your yep. I'm is good. that a win? All right. You're only down five hundred fifty dollars. So I mean, that's almost a win. Perfect. You know what I mean? Don't don't forget to leave yourself a little money for Kino. Are right, you ready? Yep. All right. You're doing double tap now, right? Yes. You're doing double tap. All right. Well, I'm just, just check it. Ooh, there's 11. Crapless craps people are just roaring. They're getting paid. Big money. Big money. Uh, here we go. E even Snapper is like, listen, listen. He might want to buy in, dude. Might want to buy in. All right. That that didn't work. Oh, wait. Did I did I move the dice yeah. too quick? Yikes. Give me one second. All right. Go, go ahead, sir. I, I apologize. Yeah. Look at that. At least it was a number. I might have made you some money. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion. Everybody's confused. They're trying to figure this out. Like, why does this work? I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's literally the curve Ready. of the dice. It, it, it's going to be hard. Uh, you're going to have to graph this out, dude. This is going to be the quandary system of the century. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah, but don't forget, we got to give Wheezy his credit. You know, God rest his soul. Eight. There you go, buddy. Wow. Go. Is that it? Did you get a repeater? Is that uh, it? A double? No, not yet. I got Are you the double numbers. tapping the mates or are you going up on one? I'm going up on one. Ooh, so I have all the inside coverage. You're going aggressive, dude. Yeah. Aggressive. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to Brian we, and White Crap Shooters. We way, call that DP, dude. We call that the DP action. Oh, that's that's going to set you back. Man, look that's at David, though, brutal. just hanging out and enjoying himself. Man. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Yep. I see what's going on. All right, good. Yep. All right, we'll have I, it one I, more time. I'm, I actually just let you know my score. I should be dead down, down a thousand. So, you should yeah. be down a thousand. Should be down a thousand. Yeah. Oh, how'd that happen? Um, the the ready button. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk later. Button. Oh, I see. But you should be down a thousand. Yep. All right. Well, here one more time. I'm just gonna leave it here. Let, let me just do this. Let's let's just for the giggles. Well, yeah. Let's just go to let's here. You know what? No. Let's go to one fifty. Let's do the one fifty. Very. God forbid you guys end up on a hundred dollar minimum table. That would be, uh, let's do this. Let's say you're at, uh, yeah, let's do a $100 minimum table. $100 minimum? Okay, yeah, $100 sorry. minimum table. On, That's down. a $200, $100 minimum table. Let's see who goes broke first. Okay. We'll just keep, that's what we'll do. Let's just keep raising it until uh, until we figure this out. Yeah. Are right, you ready? 
Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to roll. It keeps saying one of two ready, so I, I still haven't figured that out. Ooh, we're out on the five. All right. This one's going to be a rough one. Uh, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Now, we're going to do 100, 100, and you guessed it. We got 240. Uh, yeah. All right, ready? So, so on the six and eight, it, it, it's going to win uh, $200. And if a five or nine roll is going to win $160. Yep. Okay. Plus, you're, okay. So you're ready, sir? Let me know. You're on a $100 table. Yeah. I got 440 inside. 440 inside. Fantastic. Okay. Ready? Let's get a roll. Let's hope, well, good luck, sir. Good luck. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, it's RNG, everybody. I swear to God. <laughs> And those of you who are always sending me emails about those damn sevens, well, there you go. Well, welcome to craps. Okay, how you doing over there, buddy? I'm down a grind now. All right, that's okay. I'm up 887, just like that. All right, let's go one more time. Let's just keep doing it. You sure. might have to rebuy, dude. We got you. You got, you got friends. You yeah. got friends. Uh, Chris Herbert Frank is an off topic. What's the story on the casino at Fashion Show? Oh, we, have, we do have some information about that, believe it or not. So uh, it's very interesting. Uh, they, they are proposing a casino, uh, and when they say the top of fashion show, they don't mean literally on the roof of fashion show. So it's our understanding that the, the food court, that space, is, that space is considered the top of fashion. It's basically on the highest level. So if you're coming in any direction to fashion show, you know, that's essentially like the third and a half or fourth floor, you know, because you go to the, the highest level of the stores, then you go up the escalator again to get there. I mean, technically, Capitol Grill is even over that, right? Yeah, Isn't there? Capitol that. Grill is above that. So that, that's the top. And, and they've been looking at making it a, a different space. Uh, so instead of them saying food court, because I think, you know, they've, they've been looking at different ways to use that space. They should really move food uses into the mall to give people, incentivize people, you know, coming off the strip and moving into the mall. It, 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 by the way, it's in the really, really early, early stages. So they're just talking about it. Um, I, I know some months ago, someone came to us and said, hey, you know, this might be some kind of mixed entertainment venue. I don't believe that there'll be table games involved. I don't even believe they're talking about table games, at least right now, only because the space isn't, isn't so big. I know it would be like slots and ETGs, maybe a restaurant and maybe some type of inter interactive you know, uh, entertainment venue. Uh, in order for them to put table games in there, you know, you, you need all the cameras, you need the soft count areas, you need you know, a, a bigger cashier, you, know, you need a lot more space that I don't think that area accommodates, but who knows. But right now it's in the very, very early stages. So I know that that story came out, a lot of people have been asking us about it. It really doesn't take away from anything we're doing as far as education. It does cause a little bit of consternation because we do work with a lot of casinos and table game space. And the, the, the whole idea of us being a fashion show is because it's Switzerland. Like where there's no, casinos aren't worried about us being in that space because there's, there's no competing casino, right? So they, they can do you know, sponsorships with us. They can, you know, Fontainebleau, of course, did their, did their um, auditions with us. And there, there might be a different perception if this is here. So it's definitely something we're paying attention to, but currently, uh, we're, we're, we're sort of evolving on its own track, uh, although it, it may change some plans, to be honest. So we're, we're, we're doing our due diligence, let's just say. All right, ready? Okay. Are you ready, sir? I am ready. Coming All out. Right. Coming out. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this, uh, get this ball a rolling. Yikes. Oof. Wow. Point of 10. We love fours and 10. See, when it comes out on the four and 10, most people are like, yikes, I hate the four. But we're like, oh. Uh, Give me some four or 10 action. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I, I, it's hard for me to lose. Now this one, I might lose $5, technically speaking, but uh, it's fine. Okay, are you ready, sir? Just tell me when. I'm you ready. got all your bets in play? All right, you got 440 up there? I have 440 on the inside. All right, good luck, sir. Good luck. I wish you all the luck, all the pleasantries of life. Oh, that's good. Because if, if we get a roll, by the way, he is going to knock it out of the park. You, you can't take away from the opportunity of place bets if someone shoots the dice. That's the prerequisite. If someone shoots the dice, that's the money. That's long-term, that's the big opportunity. All right, tell me when. Ready, go? Ready. All right, here we go. 
He, uh, you doing what? What are you doing? You're doing double tap? Yeah, I'm oh. doing double tap. Oh Ooh. my God, that is the genius roll. That's the one that gets him out. So that cuts you out a little profit, right? Yeah. Wow. Good for you, sir. Wow, that's good. Well, it's gonna happen every now and then. Someone's gonna win money. You know, I can't win them all. I'm, I'm right now. I'm really just focused on myself, dude. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to, you know, two hand this whole whole experience here. Yep. Yeah. Are you ready, buddy? Yep. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's get. I really would need a four and ten would be nice. A four or a ten. Yikes. All right. Well. Susan. Yeah. I lost five bucks. Susan. Hi, Su our Susan. Yes. Hi, Susan. We're right down the street. I think we're right down the street, dude. Did you see the boy is now offering to pay for the dealer's training? Yeah. They. They. Mark? Yeah. They've always been doing that. It's a terrible school. We actually know the guy who teaches. He's a really nice guy, but but the effectiveness of that class is low. So yeah, they, they've always done that, by the way, uh, and because Station has that program through us, I'm sure th there's the demand for dealers is so high that they have evolved this experience as quickly as possible. The, the problem is, is that most of the people they have in these training roles are in trainers. So, so many of them, it, it, amazingly, we know a lot of the people that are in their crafts class. So by the way, if you're in a, if you're in a boy casino, sign up for those classes, or if you're if sign up for those classes, they're going to pay you. I, and come to station first because station has better jobs right out the gate. So do the station program. It's dealer trainee. You go to station casinos, look at one of their websites, go to their career page. You can apply for the dealer trainee position, especially if you're interested in dice, especially if you want to be a dice dealer, because they're going to send you to us. You're going to come and see us at CG and we're going to teach you dice. I'm going to teach you dice. Lee's going to teach you dice. Uh, so Lisa, we have a really, really good, crew of people uh, that are going to teach you dice. Now, if you happen to already work for a casino and they're offering you a dice class and they're going to give you money, we'll go to that to go do that, do that, and then come and see us also because you're going to get the bonus and then, uh, but we're, we're going to teach you dice. You know, we're, we're going to make you a great, uh, a great dicer. And listen, I, you know, some of these classes are, are good, especially at reinforcing. Like they're they're working on you know the stick movement and the dice movement and stuff like this. But you, you only get so much out of it. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Are you ready, buddy? Yep, I'm All ready. Right. Gonna roll the dice. That's a real. That's a good one, Susan. Thank you. I know because Susan, I think, sent us the screenshot right of that. I think to to Alex. Yeah. Oh, to you. But that's been a thing yeah, for a while. Say. I mean, every every casino they need dice deals like you would not believe. Even even Caesars now has a, their own dice class to train internals and try to bring people on. But again, you know, the trainers, although I will say the Caesars dice instructor is someone that I know, uh, you know, a little better, who, who, who used to deal bird game back in the day. But I'll still put up our dice class uh, against literally anyone else. And again, get the money. It's free money. You get money to graduate. Just don't wait around for them to necessarily put you in the job because I could get you a job in one week that'll make up for you know whatever bonus they're paying you most of the time most of the time now if you suck at dealing dice and i can't get to do that's a takeaway but hey that's true that is true that is true not everybody gets through most people get through dice most people get through dice all right i'm not even paying attention there's the four because i would have i would have done the lay on the six by the way see uh, snapper. okay now watch this now watch this uh, what is snapper saying hit the like Oh, we love Snapper. Yes, yeah, Snapper. Yep. And now look, watch this. You see this? You see this? Actually, no, I don't know why I did that. No, no. I, I'm supposed to. Oh, crap. It won't let me put it back. Yeah, it won't let me put it back. It's already reduced. Yikes. All right. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? I'm good. I still got my 440 inside. Man, I'm not supposed to reduce. Why did I reduce? Yeah. Can I do? Oh, I can, oh, I can undo last. Ah, oh, look at that. I forgot about that. See that? Undo last. You make a mistake. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because, I'm. you know, it's still more ways of getting the... The who know what the, ooh, that's good. Yeah. Are you ready? How yep. you doing? Yep, I'm going to, I'm at 250 on the nine. Now. I know, you're making a recovery, but you see me? I'm up a thousand bucks, dude. At this point, I would take my money and go to town, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go pick up an ice cream cone or something, dude. This is good money, dude. I can get up the elevator with this. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? How good is this? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? See, then I'm going to take this down. Now, now, those of you out there that we're talking about, we're saying it's a $100 game, right? Yep. We're saying it's a hundred dollar game. So you know what I might do, D just for giggles, is take a hundred here, put a hundred here. On the four and ten, uh, or, you know, I mean, but why, why, why risk 
uh, well, what are you going to do? Because I'm, cause I'm up. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's just keep it the system. I mean, because you're, you're too close here, dude. I don't want you to catch up to me. That would be, that's not going to be any fun. You ready? Ah, there you go. You ready? Yeah, give me one. Okay, I'm um, good. Yeah. JClick says, when do you do the lays? I, so I only lay uh, on the comment. So here, hang out for a second. We'll show you. We'll show you. Uh, so, so if I'm waiting to win, so I got out on this hand because I got the four and ten. I reduced Ooh. my bet down. I have nothing. I can only win on this hand, and and we're looking at it on a per shooter basis or a per hand basis, really, because the shooter can come out, make a pass, start a new game. So it's 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 a it's a per roll base or per point basis, I should say. But I've 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 minimized my my don't pass now because I this is like free money. I lose a six, but who cares? I'm still up eleven hundred dollars. You see what I'm saying? Winner yep. now. So what I do is, um, this is a $100 game, $100 table, starting at $200 on the don't pass. Are you ready, sir? Give me one second. So he's doing, he's making a bit of a comeback. It's a little depressing. But that's good. We, we always wish the best of Alex. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Coming out. Very competitive. Um, okay. Someone said buy the four. Well, that we are. We're going to buy the four. Oh, that's free money. Can you imagine the twos and threes? That's just like... You just can't, but it's per roll. So, so I'm just going to stay and here comes the seven. You know what I mean? It's like give and take, give and take. Yeah. Oh, all right. This is the best scenario. Love coming out in the fours and tens because what? So what we're going to do is we're going to buy the four, buy the 10. Okay. Now, if we had come out on any of the inside numbers, the five, six, eight, or nine, the five, six, eight, or nine, we would have lain $240 here uh, and still hit, had the four and 10 buy. And then once we hit a four, either four or 10, we come down on that place bet and eliminate the buy. All right, ready? Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Look at, good luck, sir. Good luck. There's a four. Oh my God, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. You see what's going on here? You know, it's, it's funny because pro craps, I, 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 and I, I, I point you out, John, because John is the deconstructor now. He has found a way to just, just argue the best. Find the hole. He's the hole finder. For craps, Dennis is our hole finder on roulette, and and crap, pro craps has, has literally become the hole finder for. Okay, how you doing? Now watch this. You see how I won this? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hundred off the don't pass, uh, which uh, yeah, I, I can only win, mm -hmm. only win. You see what I'm saying? You ready? Yep. All right. Yeah, let's get that ten winner. Boom. But now, but now Alex is, oh my God, Alex gets a big fat bets up there. Wow, you went to the green quick. Yep. Okay, now I'm back to 120. You're back to 120? Yep, I'm ready. You're ready, buddy? Swear to God. Nice. Here we go. Ooh, but see, this is, you know, why did you take down the four, David? Should have left the four. You know what I mean? I was poised and ready to go. But this is where, that's again, like you, you can, this, is, this, is a, this system does have some flexibility. You could have left the four or up, up, up. Just when you thought it was, ooh, down to 3 to 6. But you see what I'm saying? Now I'm up 1567, and John can't stand it, dude. He just doesn't know what the hell's going on here. You see what I mean? Yeah. Is, is that a fantastic system? It is a pretty good system. All right, guys. Well, uh, I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, we're here to educate you. Uh, I really would love for you to check this out. Uh, I would say get Crapsy. Uh, you can get it at Crapsy.com. They have a, it's a, for a low monthly fee, you can play the free one. And, and try the system out. Uh, and I think you'll find it's very entertaining, especially if you're at a table. If you're trying to move quarters around a table, it's a, it's a $25 or $50 table. This is a great way to get on a table for less money and at least have a bit of a grind. And, and once you build a little bankroll, you can kind of you know go off and start doing other ways. But, but if you watch this, and you're gonna have to rewind it a little bit. Uh, it, I did do a pretty thorough uh, explanation and we, and we rolled this out for a bit. We did the $25 or a $50 table, 25, 50, 100, uh, $100 table. So lots of examples of how to use this in, in real world. Uh, and if you, of course, if you're interested in learning any of the games, uh, you, know, you can contact the CG Dealer School. Now, we do have our learning management system or online. It only has blackjack. It's taken us a little longer than we thought to, to get the rest of the games. So you got to bear with us. There's definitely some things we have to evolve in that, uh, in that space. We are offering a discount if you're interested in learning at least blackjack for right now. Any of the people that are on that system, uh, we're just going to let you have that discount forever. Okay, so 
So the, the money that you're saving now, when you get, when you, we're, we're gonna attach like a discount code so that you'll be able to get all the games uh, discounted as we go. Uh, but again, it, it's gonna take, we've been so busy now, we're training a lot of dealers uh, for Sage Casinos. We're training a lot of dealers, uh, you, know, you know, just independent dealers now. Casinos are in a massive demand. Fontevue, of course, is opening up in December. Uh, Durango's opening up in November. And um, I mean, because if, if, if you've done any, if you've been following the news, the win on table games has literally been through the roof. So, so there's that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being part of our community. We really appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to visit us, casinoquest.biz, if you want to book some time. Uh, come see us when you come to Vegas. And uh, Alex, David, and Dennis, we're out. Have a good night, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. I have no idea how to turn this thing off. <laughs> Go to YouTube, click on stream. Okay, end stream. Go to YouTube, he says. See, see they, they assume you have this information. I need to get, uh, what's his name, Snapper over here for tech support. Oh, here it is. You ready? End stream. See you guys. Bye.